After months of threats and tests, Kim Jong-un flexed his muscles and launched an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, this morning. The little dictator likely chuckled to himself, basking in the glow as he envisioned the explosion of what ended up being his target. However, he didn't get the chance to enjoy the glory of his moment of power for too long. This is North Korea's latest provocation of war that could be their last after their missile traveled 621 miles into the Sea of Japan, but it wasn't just water it hit. The Japanese government announced this morning that North Korea's missile hit their boats and claimed that their planes were hit as well during the missile's direct path to Japan. While the American government is still working to substantiate if and how much destruction the country experienced from the Pentagon is on high alert preparing to take action. Meanwhile, Japan's military has already begun mobilizing to defend themselves against more action take at them. It's currently being investigated to see if the destruction was caused from the debris or the missile itself, by determining if the ICBM was intact upon re-entry into the atmosphere. If not, the debris could have scattered across a large area, making a strike of military or civilian craft possible, according to Silence's consent. Government agencies, including the military, are mobilizing to investigate, assist, and respond to the incident. It was only a matter of time before North Korea tried this since Kim Jong-un has been strangely silent for a few weeks since his last launch on July 4. There's no mistaking that what the dictator did was an act of war against Japan, and now it's time for him to pay the price for his actions. The Pentagon is watching what's happening closely since this concerns the US in the event that North Korea manages to perfect the missile to hit America. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said the launch showed the threat to his country was grave and real. He added that there was a need for Japan, the US, South Korea, China, and Russia to increase pressure on North Korea over its missile program. The missile launch came just after Japan had announced it would increase its sanctions on North Korea. The Japanese government has established an emergency participation team with members of relevant ministries and agencies. Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshihide Suga said that a North Korean missile flew for about 45 minutes and appeared to have landed in Japanese waters, adding Japan absolutely cannot tolerate North Korea's repeated provocations. Shugo added that the missile launch was unacceptable and in clear violation of United Nations resolutions, and said Japan had protested in the strongest possible terms. Japan can only take so much and have appeared to have reached that threshold, for how small Kim Jong-un is, he's sure making a huge mistake by playing big boy games. He doesn't want to get into a war with America since we have the best army in the world and could obliterate his country from the planet in a matter of seconds. U.S. Secretary of Defense Jim Mattis stressed that the U.S. is trying to exhaust all diplomatic and economic options to end North Korea's missile program. However, those efforts are wearing out quickly with the persistence of refusal to cooperate from North Korea's leader. It can be difficult to tell when the diplomatic options have been exhausted because your enemy might be sneaky, or duplicitous in some way, and it's the responsibility of a country has to try and determine fact from fiction. That's not the case with North Korea who has been clear about their intentions by coming right out in the open and announcing their plans for a fight. The US doesn't deal with threats after the fact, Trump nips it in the bud from the start proving that we're the most powerful nation in the world who cannot be messed with. It's about time we treat North Korea like they are completely ready to engage in a nuclear conflict and prepare for that, rather than assuming they don't actually have bad intentions. It's about time we treat North Korea like they are completely ready to engage in a nuclear conflict with us and prepare for that, rather than assuming they don't actually have bad intentions, like what Barack Obama used to do with all of our enemies. The US and others are attempting to show restraint in the face of this mentally ill little monster, but that has a time limit on it which is running out. This dictator thought he could talk tough and puff up his chest to the rest of the world and needs to know not to expect any small packages in return, it's time for him to get the horns for messing with the bull.